Hello, welcome to the Hyatt House. My name's Nelson. I'm going to show you how we park cars in this garage safely. And I just parked one over here. So let's go check it out. All right. So I just parked this Nissan here. On the way in, I watched out for things like uh, the pole. As I pulled in here, I want to make sure that on either side of the car, the spacing is the same. Distribute the weight properly on the lift. In addition to that, you want to make sure that the car isn't pulled pull too far uh, back. So a nice way to ensure that is to line up the front wheels with the second bar here on the lift. Even if you do that though, before you lift the, the car up, you need to make sure the emergency brake's on. If it's a stick shift, it's in first gear. You want to take a look around the perimeter of the car to make sure that there's nothing that you can hit. For example, the sprinkler here. If this car was pulled too far uh, back, you could hit that as you raise the lift. You also need to make sure that nothing on the top of the car is going to hit something above the car, like these pipes. If there was a roof uh, rack on this car and you lift At this point, we're ready to lift the car. Some cars can't be lifted, so you got to make sure that the car is small enough to lift. An example of a car we can lift. Certain cars aren't liftable. The maximum weight to be lifted is 5,000 pounds, so most uh, sedans, almost all sedans, and most small SUVs are liftable. When you go to lift the car, before you lift it, you just want to double check and make sure that the, the car um, isn't pulled back too far. You can look, look there and also just look in the back to make sure there's enough clearance. When you're lifting the car, you just want to make sure you stay up, out of the way of the lift. Turn the key and just lift it. Just the up the green button. Watch your fingers around the, the lift as it gets close to the the box. When you get close to the top, you want to push it up until the pin clicks. Once you hear it click in, then you lower it down slightly so that the pins rest on the lift. Once you once it's resting, then you can take the key out and you're good to go. So now the car, now the lift is ready to have another car parked under it. You want to make sure the car's obvious and not not too tall. This car, for example, would be too tall, so we have it pulled a little bit on the lift there to stay out of the way, but we cannot lift it. Okay, when you're ready, when you're ready to lower the the, the car for a pull, you just you go in, turn it on. You're going to need to lift it up slightly to release the pins. Just let it go just up and then you pull the chain here and now it's ready to be lowered. As you lower it, make sure your feet aren't in the way and you also don't want to have your hands anywhere in the behind this because this is going to come down like that. So now you can lower it down using the down button. You need to be aware of your surroundings. There could be cars coming in. There could be other valets pulling cars at the same time. You need to watch out for hazards as you go out, like 
this pole, for example. And as you leave, you want to honk the horn or flash your lights so that pedestrians know you're coming. So right now we'll take a little visual tour of the garage for some hot spots and areas to watch out for. Of course, the, the door comes down. You have to watch out uh, for the gate. You want to watch out for poles. When you're lifting cars, various things could be above the car, but you want to make sure that there's not a rack on it or it's not too tall. There's some more poles here. Poles here. There's sprinklers that run on both sides behind the lifts. We've got a ventilation ducting there. Some more over there. Over here. And some more poles here. You want to watch out for the wall here because it sticks out and you have to get pretty close there to get a car under that lift. 